Hey there, I'm John Siskovich, and I have an Ask Me Anything uh, question about measuring the temperature in the brooder. I got it from Jody. She went to the homepage of the website, farmmarketingsolutions.com, scrolled to the bottom of the page, asked, uh, asked her question, and now here's me shooting a video about it. Let's dive right in. So Jody's question was about measuring the temperature in a brooder and where do you put a temperature probe or a thermometer so that you are recording the accurate temperature and you know what's best for your chickens. Now if you see behind me, that would be my heat source. It's mid-May right now, uh, so I actually don't have that on. These birds are ready to go outside. Um, but whether you use a heat lamp or a hover brooder or a propane heating lamp, um, there's a few factors into where you would want to measure your temperature. One is the accessibility to the birds and the type of thermometer it would be, uh, where if it's a glass thermometer, they might peck it and break it, so you really don't want to use something like that. Um, but if they're going to mess with it, uh, you kind of want to have it a little bit out of their range just so you're, you know, it doesn't mess with your equipment. Um, I've measured both under the lamp on the side of the beam and then ambiently we'll say like two feet up in the air uh, to get what the temperature is in the room. And I found that uh, over time I re had to rely on that thermometer less and less uh, because I don't have an automated heating system. I, I know what the temperature is outside and I adjust where my, uh, what lights I have on and what windows are open um, depending on the ambient temperature outside the shed as well as inside the shed. So, the thing I like about livestock, one is that this bird's about to get out, so I'm going to try to convince her not to do that. There we go. The uh, thing I like about livestock is that if they're too hot, they'll try to get cooler. If they're too cold, they'll try to get warmer. So if I have a heat source, and then I have a slightly cooler area of the brooder, once they're not baby chicks anymore, they will decide for themselves if they want to get a little hotter, a little colder. So if I was going to measure the temperature, I would want the ambient temperature to make sure that the whole room doesn't heat up above where it's too hot or get too cold, uh, where I've got a good ambient temperature for the birds. I give them an area where if they're cold, if they're chilly, they can warm up, or if they're too hot, they can go and cool down. Always keep them with fresh water and feed. I like to feed uh, grass for my birds as well inside the brooder, as well as obviously we raise pasture raised chickens here, and this whole channel is about raising birds out on grass. Um, but even in the brooder where it's such a controlled environment, for me, adding some diversity in prepares them for the diversity of the field and it makes the transition a little less stressful. And then over time, I will raise my heat source so it's higher and higher to give them less heat, uh, direct heat if they're underneath it. Uh, and I will also then uh, open more windows so there's an increased ventilation and then eventually turn the heat source off altogether and let the birds harden off to the point where it's the same temperature inside as it is outside, so when they're moved out to the field, there's no stress at all. Uh, this is just real quick. I have netting to keep other birds from flying in and out. It doesn't do the best job of keeping them in, but you know we'll figure it out. Um, but heat lamps and chicks, I put this up on my the outside of the door. That's the lamp and then the throw of the bulb. If the birds are spread out evenly, they're at a good heat. If they're all on the outside of that heat lamp or too far away from it, they're really hot. Like they'll splay out and look like they're dead and they're unhappy. Uh, they're just overheated. If they're all bundled up underneath that heat source, then they're too cold. And if they're sh shuffled away into a corner, there's probably a draft somewhere and they're trying to get out of the breeze. Um, so that's that's my my two cents on where to put where to measure the temperature in your brooder. Uh, in my books and packets, uh, I have charts and graphs on how hot the birds need to be at what stage of growth for the average grow out rate for a Cornish cross in my area. Um, so that, that's a thing that exists. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna get back to my birds. I hope Jody that answered your question. If you have any follow up questions, uh, whether it's Jody or somebody watching this video. Head on over to farmmarketingsolutions.com, bottom of the page, ask me anything, and I will create a video about it. Thanks for taking the time to tune in. Until next time, I will see you out in the field. Now we're gonna nice and calmly go to the outside of the brooder here. Whoa, almost calmly. I'm gonna put that in the outtakes reel. Um, so.